Morning guys, so it's been a little while since my last video So I've decided to come out uh, this morning I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew to be honest with you uh, It's wall to wall fog and mist uh, I can't really see much more than a few foot in front of me uh, Even with the headlight on uh, My head torch, sorry uh, I just, just can't see anything So what I've done is uh, I've come to Breeden Hill And it's my intention just to uh, uh, hike up to the top um, Through the mist and hopefully we'll have a lovely cloud inversion on top of the hill overlooking the Vale of Evesham and uh, the Severn Valley. Uh, sunrise is around about um, an hour away from now, so it, it is starting to lighten up and I should be able to see where I'm going a bit more. Um, I've been to this location a few times. Uh, I, I know the route, but in, in zero visibility, uh, uh, it's, it's very easy to get disorientated. I'm, I'm hoping that Breeden Hill, um, its uh, altitude and its prominence is, is high enough um, so that we should be sticking out of the fog and the mist. But I won't know until it's a little bit lighter and I've managed to hike up to the top. Okay guys, I've started to make my way up to the top of Breeden Hill. And first thing is it requires a walk up a track in a forested area. I was hoping you'll be able to see just how misty it is. It's found about half an hour before sunrise. And uh <laughs> you crazy crazy bird. Yeah, well, there we are. So yeah, I'm off up there. It's quite an incline. Uh, got the whole heart going. So uh back in a moment. Finally made it out of the woodland, and as you can see, it's, uh, it's brightening up now. The sunrise is probably five, ten minutes away. Still quite a distance from the top of the hill, mind you. Uh, it's only about a two and a half mile walk in from where I parked the car. Uh, thankfully, this, this last little bit uh, is a tarmac track, so it's pretty easy going for around about half a mile. And then it diverges off into uh, like a, a farmer's track, which is uh, just for a field. So it can be a bit boggy in places. Um, I don't think, looking around me, I don't think I'm going to be above the cloud, unfortunately. But uh, as the sun rises, we'll just have to wait and see because sometimes it can burn off a bit of the mist and reveal the landscape underneath. So at this moment in time, it might be a bit of a bust, uh, this little venture, but we shall see in about 15 minutes. Probably a few minutes now before sunrise itself. Uh, if I look up, uh, the cloud has, well, the cloud and fog has thinned a little. Um, we can see bits of blue above me, so that's looking promising. Uh, but the general landscape still, as you can see, is pretty much shrouded in this low fog and mist. I'm going to keep on walking up, uh, you know, I've been in situations where I thought, ah, it's all done, it's pointless carrying on, and uh, you just have to, and you just try to chance your luck, and nine times out of ten it comes good, so uh, you never know, I've got a spare time today, I'm in mean, no particular rush, oh, I can take my time, and as the uh, morning progresses, um, I suspect the, the fog and mist will uh, ease off a little bit as the day warms up and uh, hopefully should be able to get some, uh, some images from the top of the hill. Uh, a little bit of good news, the fog and mist is starting to clear and I can see bright sky above me, which is really good news. So I'm gonna try and spin you around and show you what that looks like. You never know, it might work. So let's have a look. Can you see that above me there? Is that break in the cloud? There we are. That is potentially the sign I'm looking for. If that carries on and this fog and mist clears a little bit, we should find, um, if that fog and mist clears a little bit, we should get a good view over the Vale of Eversham and then um, towards Worcester and Malvern. But uh, 
Yes, it's not looking too bad. Let's keep it going. Guys, so I'm at the top, literally 20 foot to go, something like that. Um, I don't know, you guys are probably not going to be able to see this. Um, but I'm overlooking the ridge line on Bruden Hill, back towards uh, the Vale of Eversham, my hometown of Pershaw. And uh, to the eye, it is just a sea of fog and mist. What an cloud inversion. Oh, it's pretty damn awesome. Um, sunrise is literally now. Ah, <laughs> and uh, the sky's clearing. Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. I apologise for the audio if it's a bit uh, noisy. Uh, I'll get myself mic'd up in a minute or two. Um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll make a better audio. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, it's looking good. I'm going to quickly switch the camera around and then you guys can take a look. And uh, tell me what you think. Well, I'm so-and-so. I was given this name by my parents. I've been to such and such a college. I've done these things in my profession. I produce a little bark. Buddha says, forget it. There's nothing you that's some story. That's all gone. That's all past. I want to see the, the real you you are now. But nobody knows who that is. Because we don't uh, know ourselves except through listening to our echoes and consulting our memories. But then there's a real you, and that again leads us back to this question. Uh, who are you? That is the real you. See how they play with this exam by the koans to get you to come out of your shell and find out who you really are. Hey, so uh, sorry about the quite abrupt ending there. Uh, my battery in my video camera died, um, so I was unable to carry on with the, the vlog. Um, there wasn't really much in the way of, of uh, landscape shots to take when I was up there. Uh, to be honest with you, I was so excited about the uh, cloud inversion and getting on top of the hill in time to actually witness it. But um, my attention to photography kind of uh, fell at the wayside, so I do apologise for that. I do have some images from my last visit to Top of Bruden Hill uh, when I tried a little bit of astrophotography. So I'm going to pop those images on the screen now for you, um, just so you can see some of the compositions which are available. Uh, if you'd like to leave your feedback and comments below, that'd be really good. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to my little channel, in my little corner of YouTube, that'd be amazing.